I mean, I, I, we can't imagine that, you know, the market will move around and adapt because that's how it works, right? So we need to be super cautious and to prevent. So right now, I think the, uh, the law that is being reinforced by the government of Quebec is a great first step. It is very important, but it's really connected to the official Airbnb or other ones, right? So uh, we, we definitely want to look into and have conversation with the provincial government on how it's going to evolve and what can we do. And it's also about making sure that at the municipal level we have the resources and that everything is applicable because sometimes directives can be said, but then how it's being applied is a different story. So we're definitely in conversation about how do we make sure that uh, all these uh, illegal uh, apartments just don't get on Kijiji or whatever what, oops, sorry, uh, and, and we lose track of them. So we will, as they evolve, we will evolve. It's true that on the, in the city of Montreal, we have a lot of old buildings. Just for the one built before 1940, there's 80,000 on the island of Montreal. That's a lot. And then there's all the other ones, you know, build, being built after 2040. So I think uh, it's, it's a lot of houses, a lot of buildings, different type of buildings. And let's not forget as well that there's the public space, but also the private space. So it's, it's a very different approach. So for us, what we want to continue on doing is making sure that a firefighter go and do some of those visits and answer complaints as fast as they can. But there's also has to be this realization that there's a, on the private field, uh, it is definitely like uh, the owner's responsibility to conform themselves. And but if there's anyone in the public who feel that they're in a building and it's not safe or there's no fire alarm or they, they have question, they should definitely contact their borough and we will send inspectors for sure.